What is up, YouTube Tool Tubers of the World? My name is Brad, and it is Tool Review Tuesday. We got the Harbor Freight three piece little baby plane set today. We're going to take a look at it. As you can see, I've already been using it, trying it out. I think I'm still going to return it. Uh, Harbor Freight's three-piece mini brass plane set as they call it and it's they're pretty good looking tools really especially be coming from Harbor Freight the reason I bought them was uh basically I was thinking it's real skinny and I still don't have a dado set so right now if I want to cut a dado I take my table saw and I cut a bunch of lines or I cut them really close and I you know, they either break out if I cut them close enough or I take a chisel and pop them out. But then it still leaves a very rough bottom. So I figured I'd take this or this, you know, you can tell they're different sizes. Depending on the size of the dado and clean out that bottom real nice and easy. Figured that would be a perfect job for these. But before I pick these up, this is the only thing I have that comes close to doing it. And you can see this thing is like an inch wide over an inch wide so this one's nice and skinny let me see if we can focus and it's like uh just over nine sixteenths so let's call it five eighths just under five eighths which would be great for half inch plywood and this one's just over three quarters so that's another reason i wanted to return it because this one i mean a three quarter inch piece of plywood is not three quarters it's a little bit less and then this one you're never oh well, there goes that. You're never going to, with the way this is set up, this is actually set up as a scraper. It's vertical. I don't even know how to use it, to be honest with you. Clean, I have this one to clean out datos. That's the reason I bought the set. This one looked cool. You know, it's a little mini block plane. Do chamfers and maybe some end grain if I could get the blade char sharp enough. Who knows? Those are some of the reasons I bought it. And here's what surprised me about it. When I was setting up to do this review... I had full intentions of talking a ton of trash about this plane set. Uh, and I'll tell you why. I took them out. Well, I took this one out. And this one, you know, it's, uh, it's t type of bull nose. My plan was to use this for scraping glue. Let's just see how flat it is. And so I did take a sandpaper on a piece of granite and I started rubbing it just to see how flat it was and of course the wood was uh sucked up in it was kind of concave between the two brass pieces which at the two ends here the wood was kind of bowed up so i don't know if you can see it i kind of shined it up pretty good already uh but i had to take a little bit off here this back was the wood was way sticking out of there which that doesn't even matter that that doesn't matter at all my little OCD-ness just made me want to flatten it. And then I went ahead and touched up the front. And then I took the blade out. Had to take a file to it because there's like metal connecting here. You can kind of see it a little better there. I kind of gave up on it. But I took a little mini file and got that to where they were somewhat square. I went ahead and flattened the back. And I uh, sharpened the front. And I went from 400 to uh, 1200 so I went 400 800 1200 uh, just uh, I really wanted to get these things a, sh a fighting chance because I'll be honest with you they're not reviewed very well I just wanted to see if this thing could basically you know scrape a little varnish off if I ever need to do that just barely set it out to use it as a scraper and uh, it did horribly it sucked I know the blade was sharp I could shave hair off my arm with it but I couldn't get the damn thing to work. Couldn't get it to work at all. Then I'm like, okay, well, just screw this one. Uh, maybe I can use it as glue. I'll mess with it later. I opened up the package, and I went to get this one, right? Because this one is the one I figured I could at least make see if they work well or not. Because this is an actual plane. But guess what? That blade in there? I had to steal that blade from that one. The damn thing didn't have a blade in it. How are you going to sell a plane set 
and one doesn't have a blade. So, <laughs> so that, I, I made up my mind. I said, you know what, I'm not working on these anymore. This one sucks. This one doesn't even have a blade. I'm done with you, Harbor Freight. Done. These are getting returned. I said, well, you know what? I'm not even going to get another set because this thing sucks so bad. I'm just going to return them. I'm going to get my money back. But before I do, I might as well put a review out. That way people don't make the same mistake I did. Because these were worthless in my mind. I get back home. And I got this little cedar plank uh, shingle thing. And, uh... I said, well, hell, let me take, let me see this blade out of this one, because the blade was originally in this actual scraper one. will fit in there. And it did. And I was like, well, if I'm going to give a review out, at least, at least try it. And I read the reviews on the website about this, and they were horrible about how terrible these things are. They're worthless, waste of money, blah, blah, blah. I hadn't sharpened this blade at all. I still haven't sharpened this blade. And just check this out. So as you saw, this little bad boy did really great and gave me actual little curls without tuning it up, without without doing anything to it. I just took the blade out of that one and put it in this one because they forgot to give me a blade. So I can't imagine what it's going to do whenever I actually sharpen the damn thing. I'm not an expert at this. I'm still very much a beginner, so my technique is shit right now. You know, I'm just kind of, I'm just moving the plane across the wood. If I get a shaving, I get a shaving. I just keep trying different things till it works. The reason I got them is because my daughter, she loves to be on the shop with me. Loves to be. And she loves to do what daddy's doing. I know if y'all have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She has her own little plastic Black & Decker wrench and uh, drill set and whatever. And so she brings them out and she works on her little tricycle with me and... And she'll help me break down, you know, stuff I salvage off the side of the road. Like, Alright, you gonna help me with this one too? Uh -huh. Alright. My other intention with these, and maybe, I, maybe I'll take the blade out of this one and just store it, is give her something like this, just to let her pretend like she's doing something with Daddy, you know? Hell, you could take it out and give her this and she's gonna be happy, you know? No, uh, no way she's gonna hurt herself on this. So, I would definitely say... If you don't mind putting a little work in and tuning them and possibly having to return them because they give you one without a blade, uh, or, or be wise like I'm about to do when I return them and check to make sure you have all three blades in your planes. Uh, I think it's a decent little set, man. I think I, I, I think I'm going to return them. And I, my full intention when I was setting up to do this review was to tell you I was going to return them and get my money back. But I don't think I am now. I think I'm going to return them or just exchange them. I think I'm just going to exchange them and get another set. If you do any type of little woodworking, maybe if these are your only planes, you know, just put a little, take the edge off of something and you don't want to break out a whole router. Or you ain't got a router. You know, you can, you can take the edge and put a chamfer on something for, for $3, basically. But I'm going to enjoy them. I think they'll be nice. I think they'll be fun for the kids. I think I'll use them on occasion. This review actually helped me to discover that these weren't a total piece of shit. So as always, y'all be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button to help me out. Help grow this channel. We're almost up to 700 subs, guys. We're growing faster than I ever thought we would. I'll see you next Tuesday with another tool review. It's either gonna be the Harbor Freight Angle Grinder. They got on sale for 10 bucks right now. The Drill Master. Or 
the uh, very not the the one speed oscillating multi tool they got on sale for fourteen dollars right now. Leave a comment. Let me know which one you want to see because it's gonna be one of those two. Till next time, guys. I'll holler at y'all next Tuesday. Peace. What are y'all still doing here? Go on now. The video's over. Get. Ah, I'm just playing. Here's a little bonus thing. This is a cool little chisel I got. All right, let me turn on the other light. It says peerless. Drop forged steel. Or it says drop forged steel. Peerless is what I can make out. Germany. I found this chisel at a pawn shop. In the little socket bin and uh along with a little stubby sk screwdriver some sandpaper to it flattened it can you see me hey guys polished it up to 1200 and uh dude this thing is hair popping sharp if you ever had it before kind of messed up the bevel so i did kind of put a whole new bevel on it you can see the reflection of that window right there. But this thing is sharp. I was taking shavings with it. So I got to build a handle for it. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little chisel for 50 cents is what I paid for this one. And I paid 50 cents for a little SK stubby. Now this is really in. Go on. Get. Who knows what I could do with it. But... I don't know. Where am I in this review? But they look nice. I mean, who doesn't like the color of brass and, and, and wood together? I know I do. I don't know about you, but I know I love me some brass. Especially when it's nice and polished up. Going. And now I gotta clean up because I did this inside. Like an idiot. Because I didn't expect to get shavings. But, uh... But anyways, guys. I'm sure y'all sick of hearing me by now. It's probably way too long a review. Hopefully, I'll be able to edit it down. Uh, let's cut this.